Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? We're playing some custom hero clash, not chaos, custom hero clash being the Dark, Dark Lord version of it. Um, I wasn't planning on recording this, that's why we're in round 9 already, but look at my fucking build. Holy shit, I have bad juju, axes, macropire, bedlam, and god's rebuke. God's rebuke is my worst ability, and god's rebuke is not that bad an ability. Like, as you can can clearly see, um, yeah, this is absurd. So, I, I, I just honestly, I it just felt like we should probably go and record this, right? Like, this seems like a bit of fun. Definitely seems like a bit of fun. So, yeah, that's that's why we're here. That's what we're gonna do. We go ahead and get ourselves this bad boy. Um, we're playing Custom Hero Clash because, I don't know, it just kind of seemed like a like fun little bonus thing to do. Um, something I should mention. Okay. So, this week is the last week of the Chroma Kickstarter, right? This Wednesday is when it's actually over. And then it's all fully done. Then the Kickstarter is just finished. And, of course, it's super exciting that we got there, right? That we reached our goal. That is awesome. But, you know, you know what would also be pretty neat? A little bit of extra credit. <laughs> So we put up some stretch goals where you can um, basically what uh, as you like as we hopefully like maybe hit a few more goals um, Every 10,000 we unlock some more stuff that everybody gets right and uh, you can kind of like get yourself some more some more benefits Which is really cool um, and then also Because I made a lot of money I Just made a lot of money, which is very nice um, I think right now Exorcism is stronger. I don't know, actually. They're both pretty strong, honestly. <laughs> pretty high power level game right now. Nope. Okay, I was wrong. Multicast Axis is insane. Who would have thought? But... We're going to try and, you know, like, hit, like, a few extra goals. Because that would just be super sick. Right? That would just really help. And then, like, allows us to do more stuff. Like, it would always still go straight to the game. Setting that aside, um, we are now, or I am going to be streaming a lot over the coming days. And by a lot, I literally mean kind of just like the only thing I will be doing. Um, so I will be streaming all day. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I got 4,000 gold for winning that. In this version of the game, in the Dark Lord version of it, you get so much money for winning the game. But we will be um, we will be streaming a lot. And there's like a schedule that I made. I'm going to put that in the description. Where you can kind of like have a look at it. And see what it's about. You know what's. Um, like what the plans are. And I think there's a lot of fun stuff in there. And I would really like it if you could come hang out. This guy got sticky napalm and iron shell. So that's fun. Alright. Oh my god, you're actually gonna lose. Ugh. Don't do that to me. That's not good. That does not feel good. What's my fifth ability? It's second chance. So in the Dark Lord version, when you start the game, you get to choose a perk. And if you pay money, you get more choices when choosing your perk. Um, and the perk has, uh, well, it has some, like it gives you like a, an extra little benefit. Right, and the... Uh, pretty good usually so this one gives us essentially an extra edges which as you might imagine that's pretty nuts i mean like especially since in the dark world version you actually can't buy edges right because you cannot buy uh like an edges and kind of keep yourself going that way it's just not possible in this version i wanna say that the centaur should win i gotta go ahead and uh do a do a smaller one. I don't know. Just keep applying sticky napalm, dude. Like, that's overthinking it. Trying to be too careful. Right? At that point, don't even play around the... Um, the protection. Just straight up kill the guy. Okay. Uh, well, this guy should win. Like, holy shit, what is that build? <laughs> you can't even deal damage to it. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, we'll do this. Thank you very much. 
And luckily, we have uh, quite the luxury of being able to clear this stuff out very quickly, which is fantastic, honestly. Alright, we got a ton of money. Um, let's maybe just finish up our Star Force. Against this guy. Well, it feels like we should get a heart. We'll, we'll get a heart at some point anyway. And uh, Suna definitely feels better here. Alright, we need to wait out this ball. Damn. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard for me to interact with. I have... Um, I don't really have any... Any sort of um, physical damage other than, I guess, God's Rebuke, but that's not good enough. Alright, so they both have Fury Swipes, but the Ursa has Anchor Smash and then also the Ultimate, which I think in this particular instance should definitely make the difference. Ooh, maybe not. Actually, this guy has a lot more attack speed, it seems. Oh, no. I didn't expect the Spirit Breaker to come through by just having the most attack speed. <laughs> Alright, get rid of this. Thank you very much. Feels good. 299 more for Pudding Challenge. By that I mean it will make Pudding on stream. Alright, if we hit, if we get 299 more on the Kickstarter, then apparently we're doing the Pudding Challenge. <laughs> I don't think that's a real challenge. I think that's just making Pudding. But, I mean, let's have, let's have some pudding, everybody. I mean, who doesn't want some pudding? <sighs> I mean, I want to say that Rinstwind wins. Because I do like Rinstwind more than the gingerbread man from Shrunk. But, um, that's okay. <laughs> gingerbread man. All right, rinse, rinse, you can do it. Oh my God, never mind. That was pretty close. This arm, this arm is brutal. Okay, that should be fairly straightforward. Yeah, no, in, in this right click battle, well, the, the guy that can actually right click is probably gonna win, right? Cool. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, why even bother with the ball? I feel like if you ball around like that, you're actually, you know, taking a risk. You're more likely to win if you just, just sit there and attack with the disarm. Anyway. Oh, man. What a journey it's been. You know, like, but well, we got there. We made it to the end. We have arrived at... I don't want to see, like, a... Well, I guess it's not over yet. Alright, it's not over yet. The Kickstarter isn't over yet. But we've... We've come pretty far. And uh, now it's time to actually make a really, 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 really sick game. Which I'm very excited about. So, something that I've seen a few people ask is, like, are we going to do... Or, like, am I going to do, like, a developer update thing again? And I will... Um, after the Kickstarter is over, I'm gonna make a video where I'll basically just kind of take you through, okay, what are the plans? And in that video, I will also take you through, like, a whole bunch of new design that I've been working on. This basic dispels Iron Shell away, right? And then, without Iron Shell, then... Yeah, just do that. Just summon the boys. Summon the boys. Kill the big boy with it. Ooh, be quick about it. Be quick about it. Good. Good, good, good. Man, that was kind of a little spooky. This pierces spell immunity, right? Does that cancel Rolling Thunder? It doesn't matter. The Jakiro wins against everybody. I don't know how you can win against the Jakiro. I just have no idea how you could possibly do that. Ah, 
Get him. Multicast. Yeah, there we go. Whoo! That was actually a little close. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like a few more seconds and it would have been good. What's up? Oh, you're murdering broccoli. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Thanks for letting me know about the murder of the broccoli. Everybody push F to pay respects. Um, to the poor broccoli that has been murdered on this day. <laughs> There's no more broccoli, everybody. It's dead. All the broccoli has been killed. And I am glad. Oh my god, how? How do you win against somebody with freaking... God damn it. I don't know, man. There's always one hero in the game where I'm just like, you should not be winning these. You should not be doing as well as you are. How do you win against somebody with Inferno Blade? With Aghanims? Like, honestly, how? Do, how? I don't understand. <laughs> Broccoli is now illegal. Broccoli is illegal. I have banned it. It has become illegal. Just use cauliflower instead of broccoli. Cauliflower is also illegal. All these things are henceforth illegal. Not, not allowed. Not anymore. Okay. It is us versus the gingerbread man from Schwonk. We should be fine against the gingerbread man from Schonk. I hope. But broccoli is good. What the fuck? Broccoli is gross and I will not listen to anything else. Broccoli is gross and if you think anything else, you're just as gross as broccoli. Get away from me, gingerbread man from Schwonk. Got it. Have you had bok choy? Yeah, bok choy is nice. I don't have a problem with that. But don't even come talk to me about broccoli. And cauliflower is nothing. Cauliflower is something that looks like it's edible, but really, surprise, it's nothing. There's just nothing. It's just air that's taken on a physical form. That's what cauliflower is. Cauliflower is not acceptable. Neither is broccoli, although that's mostly because broccoli is the worst thing. <laughs> oh, man. Broccoli is a flower, by the way, it doesn't matter what it is. Whatever it is, it is terrible. And it shouldn't be. Whatever it is, it should be ashamed of itself. That's what it is. Easy knife. <clears throat> Cauliflower's a myth. Yeah, I too am co actually convinced that cauliflower doesn't exist. <gasps> oh my god, did we just get 200? Let's go! Oh wait, how much did we just get? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Pudding. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Oh, in case you don't know what the pudding thing is about, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. You don't need to get the pudding thing. Just just know that we are shouting pudding when we get money on Kickstarter. It's 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 very long and difficult to explain. And and by that I really mean it's not long or difficult to explain, but I'm not going to explain it anyway. <laughs> pudding, 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 pudding. Oh man. Here's our Octarine core. I would like to disassemble this, unlock combining here. Very good. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Oh, and I also did... Um, and, by the way, in case you're, like, kind of curious about this... I don't know if this is interesting, but, like, yesterday I did a... 
like an interview on a small podcast slash show. It's called Out of Focus. And it's like two hours of uh, me talking about Chroma. Um, yeah, if it's called Out of Focus number two Balmy, Chroma Bloom and Blight, if you look that up. And it's one hour and 41 minutes long, apparently. So, oops, maybe I've gotten a little bit overboard with that. <laughs> but there was a lot to talk about. I like talking about it. Very well. Okay, then. Man, I wish I had multicast, but I don't. So the first thing we gotta buy here, by the way, is our um, Book of Paragon. Book of Paragon is much cheaper in this mode compared to the other one. So that's something to keep in mind there. Did you enjoy the podcast? I enjoyed talking. Like, when I'm here, I always, like, like on my own channels you know i try to like hold back a little bit in terms of talking about chroma because i know that that's not necessarily what everybody's there for <laughs> and so i don't want to be like you know just overwhelming the videos with it there's always people complaining about it as well oh i think we get craggy do we get craggy I think we get craggy. I mean, second bedlam, but like... It's just not as good. To be honest, like, to me, this kind of comes down to, like, bedlam or... I don't know. Thunderclap is my... I don't know. Craggy is probably best. We actually have no defense in our build at all. And getting something that is a little bit defensive is definitely helpful and would be nice. So I'm gonna gonna get a little bit of defense there. We're sitting here waving properly at the screen. What you gonna do? I'm going to be mad at you for that. <laughs> How dare you? Have you ever considered doing your own podcast? I've had a few people tell me I should start podcast or the podcast. But I feel like I'd have zero idea where to start. Well, that's kind of it. Like I don't really have any idea where to start either. Um, but also, I feel like my videos are kind of a podcast where I just kind of like talk about random shit. And then if I don't want to overlap content, which is something I try to not do, right? Where overlapping content is like talking about things or having discussions that I already did in other content. Um, then, you know, that just doesn't really work. Why are you not attacking the guy? Like, I don't get it. Alright. Be careful. Good job. There is Master versus that guy GW. Well, I don't really know. Oh, let me go ahead and get these. But like another thing like about like doing a podcast, anything like that, it's like it's like another, you know, workload that I don't really feel like taking on right now because I honestly got enough to do. And um, one thing is also that I've kind of like mentally like trying, been trying to like, or like not really mentally, but I've been like trying to move away from content creation so much, like as much as I enjoy it. Um, I also, I don't know, I like creation creation. Does that sound, that sounds kind of like pretentious, right? But like, I feel like if you're a content creator, everything you do, like, is already a derivative. If you are in the gaming space, kind of like I am, right? Where really what I'm doing is I'm playing somebody else's game and I'm just like talking over that. Like, I'm not, well, I am producing something of my own i am not fundamentally creating something of my own and i find that process of creation um to be cool right i like that i think that's interesting and um so god damn i can't i can't can't attack can't do anything so that means that for our purposes you know i 
I really enjoy working on the games, you know, because like I am actually like making something from scratch there. Like we had nothing. There was at one point in the past, there was no chroma. And now there is about 30% chroma, right? Does that make sense? And that process to me is a lot more satisfying than the process of, oh, there's a game. Okay, cool. I'm going to make some videos on the game. And that's not to say that I don't enjoy that or want to stop with that, right? Like, people always interpret that into what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Um, I, I always take too long with the gambles here. All right. Yeah, Ursa did win. Should have taken that one on. No, I think it makes sense. You want to make non-derivative content to better express the creative ideas you have. Yeah, that kind of thing. Like, I don't know. I I I like the I like the the the, the making of stuff from scratch. I find that very interesting. My favorite part of like all design stages or like all design is always um, the kind of like where you just kind of start creating um, the very beginning stages. That to me is the most interesting. Hello, why are you hiding in the door? Okay, what's up? <laughs> okay, we apparently I need to tell you guys 87 to go until pudding, pudding, pudding. Um, I'm not really sure what that means. But apparently it means pudding, pudding, pudding. It literally means she's making pudding. Which really seems like you guys are not getting as much out of this. <laughs> as, as we are. But hey, some pudding sounds kind of good. 47 left for a sneaky 69. That would be a sneaky 69. That would be a sneaky 69, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, well, what do we get now? I think probably just a crown, just so we have the stats. <laughs> Alright, multicast here. This guy, yeah. You think is in case Chroma would be very successful, you would leave Chroma as it is, and you're happy to move on. Well, I mean, I imagine eventually, no matter what happens, there will come a time where I'm happy to move on from Chroma. I've talked about it before, but there's a whole bunch of games I wanna make, right? Like I wanna make, I wanna make um, like an educational game. I will have this weird idea for a story-driven game that's one hour long. I wanna do. Um, I want to do an escape room. I wanna. I'm already somewhat working on uh, making like a hidden identity board game slash card game thing. And um, but for now, the plans with Chroma would be is or like the plans with that kind of stuff is just we're gonna make Chroma for as long as we can, and then we'll see. You know, if Chroma is somehow very successful and it does very well. I imagine it will be less of a case of, ah, okay, now I'm done with Chroma. It will be more like, oh, cool. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, still keep eyes on Chroma. But I'm now going to take the company and let's go ahead and make another game. You know, like, let's go ahead and use these resources that we now have and make another project with them. I was like, got a shit ton of money for that. Crown of Dominating. Pogus. Can you um you do the necrobog thing in this mode? Is that a thing here? I don't think the necrobog exists in the same way here as it does in the other one. <clears throat> Looks like more kickstarts to look forward to. Okay, so I, I didn't really want to talk about this while you know, we were still kind of getting up to the hundred, but um, so like I legitimately have, um, I have this itch, like so I had this idea for this like, um, like okay, so here's my pitch for it. It's a hidden identity game where you don't know your own identity. 
Okay, that's that's the that's the core concept. Um, and I've kind of been ever so slightly on the side, and I really want to be very very clear about this. This has not been something I spent a lot of time on. It's just something that I like occasionally take notes. But I was thinking that I could like finish that up. Wait, who are you? Wait, who am I? That's exactly it. Doesn't that sound fun? Come on, that sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? Like, first you need to figure out who you are, and then you need to figure out who everybody else is. I don't know, it sounds kind of neat to me. And, um... Again, like, I have some details, but the details aren't a game yet. They're just nonsense. Um... And maybe that kind of game already exists, I don't even know. But I was kind of thinking that maybe um, sometime in like September or something, we'll do like a super tiny Kickstarter, where the Kickstarter is really not so much a Kickstarter, it's just a pre-order, where there's not even any tiers or anything like that. There's one tier where you just buy the game, and it's literally just like, okay, look, here, here's the game. Oh, master disconnected. Oh my god, am I still going to die? No. Right, but it's just like, you can just get the game if you want, and, and we'll just print however many copies we sell here. Right? But don't worry about this right now. This is something for the deep future that is really not planned right now at all. And it kind of depends on whether or not the game even ends up going anywhere. Oh my god! What's better? It's multicast, right? Multicast is better. I got multicast and Aftershock. I know, like, I like how people in chat, like, somebody in chat was like, Aftershock! And, like, that was my initial thinking, to Aftershock! And I'm like, wait, multicast? Can I have both? I think multicast is better, right? Man, I mean, it's, it's all nuts. It's all nuts. But I think multi- Oh, you- No, you do- Ah, shit, I should've- Should've bet on that. Yeah, I can multicast this bad boy. I think we want to get rid of Bedlam then. Oh, I need to equip this. Alright, we want to get rid of the, the Bedlam. And get something that works better with the with the multicast. Lightning Storm? Ah, no. No, I'm not really feeling it. Firestorm. Firestorm works, right? Oh my god, Firestorm is insane, right? Is Firestorm actually insane? Huh. Because you can multicast Firestorm, right? And then that's percentage-based damage with the percentage based from the Wild Axis. Whoo! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. But Aftershock makes it easier for late game. Yeah, but like, come on, multicast. Multicast. Alright, we got we got hit. Um, that's fine. One of the big advantages we have is we can just, you know, macro pile our way to victory. <laughs> oh man, what do you even do about it, honestly? What do you even do about it? I mean, that's just brutal. That's just absolutely brutal. So like, it's actually kind of funny. Like, I don't even know if we need... If we need that, Juju. But... Oh, it'll be fine. Like, I guess lower cooldowns are still nice to have. God damn. God damn. So, what are we doing next? What are we buying? What are we building? I mean, we have a lot of money and really nothing to spend it on. Because, uh, I guess a moon shard, but we don't really need that. That doesn't help. I could get rid of the Mjolnir. I think we just build stats. 
right? I think that's just it. We just built some stats. I right, multicast and active. So that's a uh, Agnum Scepter, which can give you, um, th like, allows you to make allies multicast. Uh, that's actually just a normal Dota, I believe. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that is so good for us. Is that not a normal Dota? Are you sure? Adds unrefined fire blast ability. Multicast can be used on IELTS to give them a chance to multicast for some for some time. Multicast on ultimates is decreased by 15%. You no, know, I'm pretty sure that is a normal Dota. As you wish. Wait, can I give you multicast? Oh. Are you guys sure that's not a normal Dota? Hey, I gotta look this up now. O2 Ogre Magi. Ogre Magi. Wasn't that in the game at some point though? It feels like this was a normal Dota at some point. These mods don't usually come up with stuff from, from scratch. What they do is they take stuff. Right? They will take stuff that was a normal Dota and then just kind of like... And they put that in. But they won't come up with it from scratch. That's why I think it was in the game at some point. Oh my god. Damn it. All right, lost in edges. Oh, let's get also some books of strength. Uh, it's very difficult to deal with that, Jakiro. But we got also a little bit of this. BKB. Oh, that's actually probably not a bad idea. It's okay. We probably won't be fighting the Jakiro for a little while, so we've got some time. I think it's LOD multicast. Is it? I feel like this was in the game at some point. I don't know. Nah, not bad. What do I know? How are you doing? Alright, you got there. Alright, we got there. Very complex, complicated strategy right here, I have to say. Shouldn't you sell the Tom Page or however it's called? I can't. It's not letting me. The search continues. I cannot. Very well. So it shall be. Come on, dude, hurry up. It's taking so long. Are you telling me that you aren't multicasting wild axes? I mean, what are you doing? What are you even up to? I seriously, if you aren't multicasting wild axes, what are you doing in my game? Ridiculous. Oh, we gotta be a bit careful here. Oh my god. I didn't expect him to just straight up kill me. Alright, never mind. I should have gotten the smoke. Oh, boots are really something. There's a variety of things that I should have gotten. And now I might lose another edges. Oh, thank you for that, Craggy. Oh my god, I got stuck on the stone. Did 
Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh. Oh my god, we made it. Okay. Don't worry about it. It is fine. Alright. So it's just me and this. What? Wait, what? 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 I'm not ready for this. Wait, it didn't give me any time to do anything. What? I couldn't, I just, like, it didn't even say anything. It's just, like, loaded me in. Why is there another one? Wait, fuck Dark Lord. Why do you do this to me? This is why you never smart ready. I I should not have smart readied. I guess the smart ready isn't that smart. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I did not expect to immediately go into another round of um of Roshan. Alright. Well I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video, definitely appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.